type in the URL www.duolingo.com into the web address field. It takes us to the Duolingo website. As you can see, one can change the language of the website by clicking on the sandy button. But for this tutorial, I will let the language stay English. Then, I can click on the large green button in the middle of the page which says Get Started. There is another way to uh, make an account as well. You can select a language from the selection of languages below. This method is shorter, so I will do this. I'm going to pick Spanish. Then, I will click the white button which says start learning. After this, I have to select a daily goal for the amount of time I want to spend learning French daily. I will select a regular goal since it is the most reasonable for me. Then, I will click on the white button which says select goal. If you have some knowledge of the language you have signed up for, select the placement test option. However, if like me, you don't know a thing about the language you selected, select the basics option. If you select the placement test option, it will lead you to a page with an interactive quiz which works just like all Duolingo exercises. In this test, you must complete exercises involving translation and pronunciation. They will be discussed more in detail later in this tutorial. For now, I will click on the basics option. This opens up a basic quiz. This quiz is similar to that of the placement test, but has images so that we can first learn the meanings of words before getting tested on them. The first slide of this quiz displays words such as la manzana, which indicates apple, el nino, which indicates boy, and el pan, which indicates friend. Since the question is to select the word for boy, I will select El Nino. It checks my work and tells me that I am correct, along with giving the right pronunciation of the word. This question is similar to the last. All these questions are like the first one, since they are to teach you the meanings of these words. In this exercise, a Spanish phrase is written in the left box and we are to write its translation in the right box. Aha! A reminder has popped up in the form of a green bird, aka the logo of Duolingo, Duo. It reminds us that we can hover over words to view their translations. The words which get highlighted are new. Also, this handy blue button on the left of the text enables us to listen to the correct pronunciation of the word. So. I must type up the translation of this into the right box, which in this case is a girl. The checking process is similar to that of the previous exercise. In Duolingo, it is not wrong to make mistakes. This is because Duolingo records any and all errors you make and uses them when creating review exercises for you. After completing the lesson, my results are displayed. You earn 10 XP for completing any exercise. Uh, 10 XP stands for 10 experience points. Since my daily goal is the regular one, I must earn 20 experience points daily. The amount of experience points you should earn in a day depends on the goal you select for yourself. After viewing this, Duolingo tells me that I must create a Duolingo account to proceed. Although there is an option to create my account later, I will be doing it now. It is optional to enter a name, but I must enter my email and create a password for my account. You can also sign up with Facebook or Google. After creating my account, you can see that the basics chapter is shown in detail. All three lessons of it are on display. There is a tips and notes section which covers all topics introduced in these lessons on this page as well. To view it, just scroll down. All chapters have the same layout. To proceed to the next lesson, I just have to click on the blue start button on lesson 2. All these lessons cover various basic aspects of Spanish. Instead of completing all three lessons, you can select this yellow test out button. By clicking this, you skip the three lessons and give a test. It consists of similar exercises and covers all the topics in the three lessons. Then. After completing the basics chapter, other chapters are unlocked. They are phrases and basics too. After completing these two, two more are unlocked, and so on and so forth. After completing the first six chapters, 
one must give a test on any five of the chapters completed. If completed su successfully, you unlock two more chapters and it continues on just like this. If you just want to improve on certain skills, you can select the blue button which says strengthen skills. This exercise will test you on all skills at which you have not performed well. This feature helps you work on weaker skills, thus helping you get more proficient. I will now talk about the toolbar located at the top of the page. The first option is the home option, which brings us back to our Duolingo dashboards from whichever screen we are on. The next one is the words option. This allows you to review the words you have learned on Duolingo until now. It allows us to view what part of speech the word is, it tells us when we last practiced the word, and our familiarity or strength with the word. The discussion option is next. It allows you to discuss topics with others over forums or discussion groups. You can view other discussion groups and select your subscriptions. The default setting is to select the set language, the language you are learning, and the troubleshooting forums. Then, you can select your profile, settings, help, keyboard shortcuts, and to log out. Then, the next button is the streak feature. It represents your streak, as in the number of days in a row you've managed to complete your daily goal. If you manage to keep a streak for 10 days, you get a reward of 1 lingot, 2 for 20, and so on. Coming to lingots, they are a virtual game currency that you find in the Duolingo virtual store. Since Duolingo is totally free, you can't pay to obtain lingots. Every user begins with two lingots. Then, the last option is a button with the image of a bell. This button is to view any notifications we may have in Duolingo. There are some features that can be purchased with lingots as well. You can buy skill courses, which cover a topic. These range from flirting to idioms. You can also buy various tests and a freeze feature which keeps your streak for 24 hours if you haven't touched Duolingo for a day. You can also contribute to courses which are still being created in Duolingo through the Duolingo Incubator. To do this, you must visit www.incubator.duolingo.com. Then, select a course and sign up to be a contributor. Or, you can simply click on the white button which says Contribute to a Course. You then have to fill up a form. If approved, you can then become a contributor for any language course of your choice. These are all the features available for free on Duolingo. I would really appreciate it if you filled up the survey I've created on this video. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching!